We have a little weekend project. We're gonna be replacing the front speakers on a 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe. So taking off the door panel on one of these isn't too difficult. There's a cap here that gets popped off and a screw behind there. There's a screw in here. On the inside, again, a cap here gets popped off and a screw behind there. Screw here. On the outside, usually there's a cap or a cap. Those get popped off and then those hidden screws. And then down below, there's a little notch here that you could put your hand or something to pry on and just pull it out and it really just pops off this comes out which just pops off unplug and then you lift it up behind here there'll be a couple of connectors that will just unplug and then separate it completely You can see the three connectors, one here, one here, and then one down here. Speaker's right here, let me zoom you in. There's the main electrical connector here. Pinch and pull. There we go, undoes. Then there's four Phillips. And that whole thing separates. Now we'll use this uh, plate to mount our new speaker on. So let me show you how to disassemble this. You can see this layer of foam that goes around it. Right beside it are four holes with Phillips head screws. Pull those out. And that separates this bottom plate. This bottom plate is what we'll use for our new speaker. So wherever your speaker's positive and negative connections are for the speaker wires, we want those as close to this notch, see if you can see it right here, as possible. Line up the old holes with the new speaker, and you can reuse the screws that were in your old speakers, or if your new speakers come with new screws, you can use those as well, either or. Not too tight or you'll strip out the plastic, but snug, you don't want the speaker falling out. All right, this one is good to go. We'll set it aside for now. We'll hop over, do the other side off camera, and then our speakers are at least ready. Next step is getting our wiring ready. So on our connector, we're gonna be utilizing the brown and the white, not the black and yellow. So what you wanna do on the speaker, the old one, is have it plugged in. You don't have to plug it in all the way, you just wanna see which one the brown and white match up to on this side. So it's these ones right here, which ends up being our top uh, little speaker. So we wanna cut it as close to that as possible on that top little speaker. And these are the wires we're gonna use to hook up uh, to our new speaker, because this only takes two wires where this one has four wires. So we're gonna utilize just these uh, two, the ones that correspond to the white and brown. So now take that connector, route it through that notch, and connect it to your speaker connections. The white and black, or the black with the white stripe, is your positive, the solid black is your negative. Now we're ready to put this on the vehicle, plug it in. The amplifier we have to bypass is under the seat, but we don't have to take the seat all the way out. What we can do is just unbolt it from the front, unbolt it from the back, and just have it moved back enough so we can gain better access to the amplifier. Two in the front, two in the back are all 14 millimeter. You may have plastic caps over the bolts. Those just pop off with a, a screwdriver, and then we'll pull those off. With the seat tilted back, there's a little harness connector here 
on this little bracket we just pop off and that gives us enough wiggle room we're not yanking on the harness or none of the wires are, are too taut um, so just leave it like that it gives us access to our amplifier these are the plugs that we need access to I'm gonna pull up a wiring diagram so we know what parts of this we need to bypass so here's where we need to use our noggin down here is the radio head unit this is the connector right here's the amplifier so from the unit to the amplifier we have the right and left rear right and left front but if you look at the wire color is a red and white and a black and yellow because we're only doing the front so we only need to bypass the front uh, amplifier so let's see pin 18 and 19 six and seven so let's try to find those on the connector so this is where I'm having a little trouble I don't know if you can see that on the back of the connector you see a one and a two 11 and 12 so it starts here pin one two three four five all the way to 12 this would be 13 all the way up so six and seven were supposed to be a, a black and yellow but I see a blue and white one two three four five no a white and red in those slots so that's not accurate so our 18 and 19 is supposed to be a white and red so that's 12 over there 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 is our black and yellow so maybe the diagram just has it backwards so white I mean uh, black and yellow is 18 and 19 and the white and red is the 6 and 7 to confirm that what I'm gonna do is I have the radio on I'm gonna do the audio turn it all the way to the to the right front my theory is either the 6 and 7 or the 18 and 19 will have power but not both and that'll let me know which one is the front right I have my front probes hooked into pins 18 and 19. That's supposed to be the right front according to the wiring diagram. Test light. I have the radio on front right. So that should be the only speaker getting power. Test light does not light up. So 18 and 19 is not the right front. So let's hook it up to 6 and 7 which is supposed to be the left front. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, plugged in six and seven. Test light. And can you see that? And it's fluctuating because it's the stereo, so it's music or somebody talking will have a fluctuation in the amount of amps or current that goes through. So, six and seven is my right front not 18 and 19 like the diagram said glad we checked we're gonna write that down six and seven right front now let's just double check that 18 and 19 is the left front change that on the radio change our pins let's see 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 now let's see our light light up and there we go. So the diagram was just backwards. No harm done. We have confirmed though what wires come from the stereo that we need to cut. Now we need to confirm what wires go to the speaker that we need to cut as well because we want to bypass. So that speaker wire we want to just hardwire into uh, the amplifier's input. So on the door connector we're going to utilize this white or cream and the brown not the yellow and black. So let's do a continuity test to find out where this white I have connected up right here ends up over here in the translation. So I have my lead just hooked up to my multimeter multimeter on ohms and OL means open in the circuit so they're not connected to each other on this connector so 
This is the multi connector with the lines going into the amp. This is going to be our lines coming out to the front. There are two sets of white and browns. If you're looking at the connector face with this clip up, it's going to be the bottom uh, two. So the bottom left one and two will be to this speaker, and I'll show you that. If I touch here, you'll see that it's reading 0.2 ohms. That means that this wire is that wire. So the white and the white match up. So let's make sure the brown and the brown match up. So now I just moved it over, we're on the brown. And the brown on here is the pin over. So that would be the second one. Bottom left number two. And again, we are good to go. Now, if I had the wrong one, let's say like this brown one here is the third one from the bottom left, that's the wrong brown one, and it'll just stay open loop. So that's an open in the circuit. That means that wire is not that wire. They're different wires. But number two, that is the same wire. So we have confirmed that the white and red, that's pin six and seven on this connector, correspond to the bottom left one and two on this connector, the white and brown. So we can cut those on both connectors. All right, I have my wires cut and stripped. I'm doing the white to white and red to brown. So now my right side speaker should be bypassed and we should get audio out of it. All right, speaker test, I have it on front right only. And we're getting sound coming out of it. Now it's just fuzz, so YouTube doesn't uh, flag me for copyright. But we're getting audio out of this speaker, so we did it properly. Now let's find out which one corresponds to the left speaker and we can bypass those two wires. I'm all set up to check continuity to our left speaker to find out which one of these wires corresponds to that side. I'm imagining brown and white was for the right. Maybe the other brown and white is for the left. So I'm on the white one hooked up to my meter. Now I'm going to go over to the other side and touch it to the uh, speaker wire and see if we got continuity. Just to show you, I'm touching the white wire on this connector and I'm at my 0.1 ohms. So I know that that brown and white one on that little connector over there is indeed the brown and white one on this connector. So let's cut them, splice them, and we should have power on this side. All right, so pin 18 and 19 is this black and yellow. Snip those. And then we want this other brown and white, snip those. I'm gonna go brown to black, white to yellow. All right, let's turn the radio on to the left front speaker only. Make sure we got sound coming out. All right, so I have the left front speaker only. There's our fuzz, good to go. So our new speakers come with tweeters. We no longer need these, we'll just leave them unplugged. Now that we know our left and right speakers work, now we can start buttoning things back up. Any of the cut wires, I like just getting some heat shrink and heat shrinking over the top of them so it doesn't cause any uh, issues in the future. Nothing's going to bump on something, rub on something, uh, and cause a problem. All right, we can plug it in, and then we'll double check to make sure all speakers are working front and rear. 
All right, we are confirmed. We'll bolt our seat back down, put our panels back on, and we are complete. Well, there you go. That's how you can replace the front speakers on a Santa Fe with the Monsoon stereo system. You have to bypass that factory amplifier. Not too difficult. You do need to be comfortable with cutting and splicing wires. It's not just plug and play on this vehicle. The struggle I was having was with faulty wiring diagrams. But with some deductive reasoning, some testing, we found the wires we needed. We cut, spliced, and uh, we're good to go. Well, if you have any questions, uh, comments, please post down below. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.